Hi. We'll be taking a look at an exciting little circuit here. I hope you enjoy it. Essentially this is a bounceless alternate action switch circuit using a single momentary switch. Over the years I've seen many circuits that attempt to do what this one does, but they have several issues that are avoided here. I'll get to that in a minute. This circuit was not designed by me, and I'm not sure where I originally found it. It is quite elegant. It's predictable, robust, and versatile. And using just one discrete transistor, some resistors, a capacitor, and two inverters from a hex IC package, you can turn any momentary switch into an alternate action type. Here are some features. It's bounce free. We'll take a look at that on the oscilloscope. It can be cycled very rapidly without glitching. It powers up into the off condition. And the momentary switch can be held closed indefinitely with no oscillation or unpredictable behavior. These last three points set this circuit apart from most other simple alternate action circuits. Here we see on the O-scope the output voltage as it transitions from off to on. Notice there is a very slight overshoot, but no bounce whatsoever, as the on voltage never drops below its nominal level. Okay, let's look now at the circuit diagram. As you can see, the basic circuit consists of two inverters, resistors R1 and R2, capacitor C1, and switch SW1. I'll start with the power on condition and look at how resistors R1 and R2 orchestrate the alternating action. At power on, the input to inverter A is low, which is inverted, then inverted again by inverter B. Therefore, the output at pin 4 is low at power on. The high at pins 2 and 3 of the hex inverter is routed to capacitor C1 via resistor R1. This charges C1 to approximately 5 volts. Feedback through resistor R2 holds the circuit in this condition indefinitely or until there is user interaction. So far we were only at the power on state, which is output low. We are now ready to initiate an alternation. To do this and cause the output at inverter B pin 4 to go high, switch 1 is momentarily depressed. The charge on C1 is thereby applied to pin 1 of inverter A and the output at pin 4 goes high. The low at pin 2 now discharges C1. We have just switched the output from a low to a high and resistor R2 allows this condition to persist. Remember, C1 has discharged through R1, so there is now a low available at switch 1. Momentarily depressing switch 1 again will reverse the output condition by applying a low to pin 1, which causes our output, pin 4, to go low. C1 now charges through R1, and we are back at the power on state. To interface with other circuits and to indicate the status of the alternate action switch, I have included transistor Q1, LED1, and relay RLY1. Diode D1 acts as a snubber for the EMF generated by the collapsing magnetic field whenever Relay 1 is de-energized. As you can see from this demonstration, this circuit is reliable, bounce-free, and uses a minimal amount of parts. Mm -hmm.